Hey folks, welcome back to Stranded Alien Dawn, where Prince is getting his breakfast. We're at 5 in the morning, and looks like, I'll turn these back on, remind me everybody's names, Paulette is up. <laughs> Edmund, Carter, and Umiar were out late last night, they just got back, got something to eat, and went to bed, so they're going to be sleeping in. Paulette is grabbing meat that that uh, Edmund just brought in to hang and dry, and she says, uh-uh, that's going to become meat stew. I'm taking that. <laughs> anyway, any meat in here? No. What is all that stuff? Dried meat? Right there. Bunch of dried meat. Mm, okay. We cannot cook with dried meat, apparently. Got to have the fresh stuff. All right, so Paulette is cooking Prince's out there exploring otherwise everybody else is still asleep so we've got to go through the research of camp management once we do that we're gonna find out what an outpost is all about otherwise it must be seven in the morning and auto saved otherwise let's put up an animal shed in here out of sticks something like that do we touch the outer wall with it? I think we leave it there. Just so there's one extra space around it to get around as well as enemies can't lean over and attack yet if they so choose to. Um, boy, it's been weeks now since I have recorded this game. Hopefully I'm going to get a few episodes in before i got to take another break. I knew the summer was going to be this way. We've got projects are going to get done. And it gets so warm that I can't record. This studio gets into the 90s, so it really quickly gets too hot to record. Um, but I think it was Robert that wrote in and suggested putting an extra fence. Let's see here. Brick fence. Oh, it's down here now. The copy. Used to be right there. The so last episode, I thought they just done away with it but I see it is down here now deconstruct reconstruct and copy so if you were to take an extra fence and pop it out I'm not sure exactly where that's a benefit at the moment I've got to study this a bit but the bugs will then track further away from the fence to get there hmm so that means they might not pause to attack the fence but they would just naturally oh I know what it was yeah, it's been a while it will cause them to naturally track further away which then allows the guns to hit them they won't be hidden by the fence line by tracking right next to it I think that was the point let's give it a try so copy you drop you into there and nope shift well oh, does it work no it doesn't so I gotta pull out uh, Yep, that's copy. Let's do that again. Oops, try it again. And second click. There we go. So if we did that every here and there, it would cause them to walk wide, which would allow the guns better access to hit them and not protect it along the fence lines. So we'll, we'll do that in a few places and, and see what the next attack is like and see uh, just how that works you there and actually probably not well I guess it could be necessary here just because they could be hidden during this run but over here we'll do these two corners here and we'll call this experiment done and we'll see what happens you to there and you to there all right so that's that um, place for perhaps Olfen I'm trying to remember what Olfen eat? Uh, they're up in here right now. Boom. Oh, we're still hunting, aren't we? Apparently we are. So, wow, there's a lot of blueberries all of a sudden. Yeah, we have gone hunting today. I forgot I had these guys queued up. Needed some, uh, needed some meats. So, time to get the, get the freezer restocked. Um, do we want an Olfen pen? with bushes naturally in it or is grass enough that's what I'm trying to guess at or I guess I could plant some 
Um, Olfen, is there one still alive over here? Does it say taming food is is a uh, bush berries? Whatever these guys are, fruit bush. Okay. Does it say what they eat, or do we figure that out after we've tamed them? That's probably more likely, huh? Um, diet herbivore is all I'm going to tell me. Okay, But they do like these guys. So if we were to put some of those in here, just for them to nibble on, and call this an olfin pen, that is a possibility. Anywhere else we could do something like that. Kind of have a dead zone over here. Do these bushes plant well in this kind of soil? So extend the field. 75% yeah, growth. Same as in here. So that could work as well. So we could also pin this area. Just to keep some livestock within the safe confines. So we're not trying to defend them out over here. In case attacking bugs go after them because they're part of us. I'm not sure how that works. Um, well, we'll let that go for... Oh, I'm paused. I'll let that go for a while. I want to know that Umiar is indeed researching camp management. 37% done. Okay. So we need to figure that out. Rita is eating. We also, with the last update, got a few more plant species and or animal species. So I'm wondering if I want to send her up again maybe on just a three-hour trip, because she could very well discover some of those on her way. She's good at that. So I think that is her plan for this morning, which is already this afternoon. <laughs> My, how fast this game goes when you sit here talking. She just finished? Yeah. So pitied Umiar for his old clothes. Interesting. All right, so hot air balloon expedition. Let's send to... The supercomputer debris. Get three CPUs. Rita. And send. And Rita is on an expedition. It triggered already. So she's going to grab a couple of meals. Curious to see what she pulls out of there. Probably uh, four of the grain porridge. Nope. I didn't see what it was. Maybe you guys saw which number went down. Anyway, she's going to take care of that. And she'll be gone and back in a moment. We still need more of the metal alloy? No, we just need power cells. Okay. We need another place to put the other one of these. Did we ever do that? I'm trying to remember. You. Oral antenna. Copy. Did you work over here? Uneven terrain. So that means I can't build a platform over here either, huh? can't over here. Seems like we did find... Oh! I'm guessing that was it. Okay. So you are going to go there. Alright, we'll pop you in there. Yep, that was it. Okay. So that one's ready to go. Ready to build when the materials are available. We've got 140. Wow, we've got more metal alloy than I thought we did. Um, did we ever get the radio built? We did. Orbital radio. So that one's ready to go. Are we powered? Yeah, we don't need to be powered. So we'll let that sit there and you know, stop draining power through the night. All right. Simon is transporting logs. Oh, he's, he's cleaning up. Okay, good. I noticed there were a lot of logs laying around. That was from the, the fence line being rebuilt. And brick-wise, I guess we're still waiting. We're out of bricks. Okay. So nobody is firing them up because Umiar was the one doing it. So Kana is crafting. Let's let her do that. Put that away. Paulette, I don't want to disturb you. Um, Carter and Edmund are transporting. Of course, they bring back the leather instead of the meat. Yep. Simon, I think I want you to just dump that. How are you doing? Ah, your relaxation is low, but otherwise you're okay. Let's go find all that meat that they didn't bring back. Oh boy. Um, I'm thinking one of them landed out over here. That one hasn't been butchered yet. Okay, so looking for meat. No. No. 
little closer. None. Is this really their second trip? That doesn't seem likely. Raw meat. There we go. So you... are here. Oh, I would have never found that. Yeah, that's a tough one. If I can just get that one pixel. There. Double click. Nope, it doesn't light up another one. Well, Simon, come on out and grab that. Paul raw red meat. And let's just try one more time. There's two that have been hunted. Two groups of leather being brought back in. Where did the other red meat land? Boy, there's a lot of leather out there. Huh. Well, hopefully they find it on their own then. Yeah, I don't know. We'll get the one that we can't find. Um, nest formation. So, new discovery by Rita. The nest formations turned out to hide a curious secret. It looks like their inhabitants process the minerals in the soil to create complex silicon shells, which they then put together to form incubators and shelters. It could be possible to carefully mine out and use this fine silicon, considering that we can take care of the nest owners first. So these are the, well, the praying mantises. Scissor hands? I think that's what they call them are now creating silicon nests, much like these guys are... Oh, pull out, where am I? Yeah, where's another nest? I'm trying to think of the name of these bugs. There we are. Like these guys, the shriekers, are making nanotube nests. So I wonder if we're going to start getting random nests popping up with the, uh, the scissor hands. Hmm. So, new changes with the updates. And today we just got the patch that came down to uh, repair the update. <laughs> Whenever you're recording a series for YouTube, you want to be cautious about... Okay, she got some CPU cores. About jumping back into a game right after a major update. That's when your save gets bricked. And then the next day they put out a patch and said, Oops! We messed up. Here, it works now, but your save's already uh, already gone. So I usually give it a day or two after a major update before I even turn the game on. So she is on her way back with three CPUs. We have in stock only three, so it was it was time to go get some more. That's that's true. Okay, so we bricks. I. Umayar was doing it, but I don't want to disturb him. Paulette's making meals, and I'm thankful, because we usually barely have enough. How is she actually doing right now? We have eight quicks. Last, there you are. Qu eight quicks, seven tasties. Okay. Well, that helps. Carter is off to butcher another Olfen. No, he's going to have die here if he does. Do you have any bread? No bread. Paulette, I need bread. Okay, give me a buttermelon pie. Carter, go and do that. Who else is around here? Edmund. Transporting 30, so you're just arriving. Okay, so you go and do that, and hopefully you get something to eat before you go back. Yeah, Carter's needing relaxation. He's needing happiness. Uh, Carter's going to melt down, and he was just going to go out all the way out there and butcher another one. All right, you're going to get something to eat. So Edmund was sensible. Who else is out there? Simon is on his way back. He's in pretty rough shape, too. He's going to be done for the night. And I don't dare let Carter go back out there. He took so long to get back last time that it was dawn before he uh, before he arrived. Uh, rotted away. Research camp management. We're here to stay, but mere survival is not sufficient. We must come together and establish strategies to maintain separate camps. Construct an area flag to delineate restricted zones for work and habitation. Bingo. Camp. Area flag. <clears throat> 
designates an area where survivors will reside and engage in work activities. Once assigned to an area, survivors are not permitted to leave unless explicitly instructed to do so. Right clicked. <laughs> Survivors assigned to the global area have the freedom to move between areas and engage in activities both inside and outside them. Assigned to. That sounds like manage. So is that part of... No, is it part of... Here. Restrictions. Fight, sleep, eat. No, it's not there. So how do we know where they are assigned to? Global or specific? Best at social. Relax. Work area global. Okay. There's no work area there. There's no work area here. I don't know. So how do we, we construct a flag here? So rotate, place multiple, change the size Z and X. Okay, so eventually I'm gonna want to assign, gotta find it all though. Yeah, it's up here somewhere, there's a whole bunch of ore. Need to flag it all to figure out where to assign it. I wish I could zoom out further, but Hmm. I don't know how the bug attacks are going to go with our people up in here. I think we wait for the next bug attack to be done. You are rock chunks. I need ore. And then send them up here to build your nest. There. Okay, so let's... Can I get more? Not really, just those. So mine those. So let's do a bigger area like this. And 27 ore, mine. There they are. Like that. Ore. There we go. Mine that ore. I know there's a lot more up here. Oh, that's out of uh, that, that's off the map. Okay. Fifteen ore deposits. Mine those. Okay. What's over in here? Right there. So there's a lot of ore available out here, though some of it's kind of sparse. We need to find the areas that are. So we're over here. I went the wrong direction. I wanted to go out this way. I guess I did get some of it. Okay. So that's off the map. Right? Nope, just no ore over there. As far as the map go that way. That's the end of the map there. Anyway. When a bug attack happens... Are they going to go after our weakest link? Which will be our outpost. Do we then, or, need to, we have six hours before the attack hits, is that our call to get everybody back home? That makes sense? I think it does. So, the area that has the most concentration is way over here, or way over here. This is probably the best area. So, if I made a work zone... Something like that. And can I give it orders? I have to construct it. Ah. Waiting for obstacles to be removed. What'd I do? Trees in the way? Trees in the way, of course. Can I copy and put it right here? Nope, tree's still in the way. Or is it? Ah, there we go. So that... Construction progress. So we have to build that. I'm not sure how to assign people to it. 
We need to, what I'm picturing is build a little building with a couple of beds and some food. Get that all transported to here. Give them a storage place to put all the ore. Maybe even a couple of furnaces to process it. Then just bring back all of the alloy. That might be a way to do it. Um, we may have to move this thing over a little bit later as we go. Maybe move it up into this area. But let's play with that idea. Um, where am I exactly? So, pathway up here. I've seen them walk this route before. So that's a pathway. And we're heading to... So heading through here to the flag right there. Okay. So with that, I guess we just put in some shelters. Camp. Shelters. That's probably acceptable for what we're doing. So a couple of those. Um, tell you what, let's do... Like that. Okay. So shelter. Fire. And... Hmm. A couple of beds. Though I think it'd be real beds. Make sure that... Uh, keep their happiness up. Where is that? Furniture. Bed. Wooden. Stone. Metal. Where are we on stone? 161? wonder if... It, well... I could have them just chop a few trees down over here, right? That sounds reasonable. Um, fabric or leather? We've got a bunch of skin bark that we've never used. Am I remembering that correctly? We have skin bark right there, 290. Let's go that route. Is there any difference in comfort? I don't get the sense of it. Provides comfort. Okay. So, let's put... Oh, reverse you. There. There. And there. We get three of them in. And some kind of a table. And a couple of chairs. Wooden table. Little thing's fine. And chair there and there okay um well it's enough for now we'll see if they get the order to start building that and we'll let them work through it until our next bug attack am i anywhere close to home where did i just swing in there we are this is a big map still can't believe they haven't given us a vehicle to drive if we can build some of these things we should be able to put together an atv or a go-kart or something a moon rover Oh, well. A, a wheelbarrow? <laughs> Seriously. Anything. It's going to be a lot of material hauling to put this whole thing together. Um, I need somebody. It's 2100. Um, who isn't desperately needing it right now? Carter really is. What is he doing? He's smoking. That's going to get his relaxation up. So, Paulette's in decent shape. Rita needs to relax. She's just getting home, I believe. So Simon is still transporting, and he's exhausted. Edmund needs relaxation. Kana, Umiar. Really, Paulette's the, the one. And she is making meat pie. Paulette, why don't you come out here and bake bricks before you go to bed? And that way we'll be able to finish this fence line, hopefully before the next attack hits. Oh wait, that fence line is actually finished. It's got it's got all the bricks. It's these that don't. Okay, so we just need to convince either Edmund or Carter to go and do something about it. Edmund, where are you? You're out over here playing with Prince. Okay. And you just finished? You're sitting. You can relax a little later. R uh, Rita just showed up. Why don't you come out here and build? If I grab... There's six of them. If I grab right here, do that, and then do the last one. 
Go put those together for us. Rita's back, and she's going to just vomit those out onto the floor, isn't she? Yep. Rita, can you clean up your mess here? Rita. And put those away. Thank you. Alright, so we've got our orders up there. Did anything happen over here today? Nothing. So, Edmund and Carter are two constructors, besides Kana. And they were out there playing hunter all day. Okay, so that will take care of that. I assume the hunting's about done. Now we've got one more butcher job to do. Assuming that this guy leaves us anything. Yeah, we've got 51 out of 60 left. Hmm. Well, maybe Kana can go and do that in the morning instead. But she's going to make some more pipes. And that's good. That's a good uh, relaxation for some of them. In fact, we've only just gotten the tobacco to do that, right? I just heard this guy start up. Seems like there's a new audio for this animation. It sounded like starting up an old tractor when I heard it last time. Kind of neat. Old engine. But if we can do this, surely we can turn a couple of wheels and make a vehicle of some kind. Carter's butchering. No, he's not. So Carter... Let's have you put together what is possibly going to be an Olfen uh, shed or barn. What do they call them here? A shed. If not there, then where? And if not Olfen, then what? Do we want to get into these guys? Do we want to get into these guys? Is there anything else that would be reasonable? I don't want to go after a shrieker right now really don't and some of these like, like these guys are not tameable um, neither are oh the little jelly monsters these guys they're not tameable either what else is around here the the giant chickens might be kind of fun I would imagine they're kind of a kind of a high tame rate taming food is meat um, requires farming Five. That's weird. Not ranching? I guess there isn't a skill called ranching, huh? Uh, what do I want here? Here, manage. Activities. Ranch is a farming. Okay. So farming five. So that means Reed is going to have to do all the taming. Dogs are probably the only ones that are super easy. Although I would think Olfen are not that bad. Olfen are right over... Where's the pond? Right here. You are... Yeah, farming three. Who was it that uh, was also able to do that? So Carter was the other choice. Okay. You guys are taming five as well. A little more difficult. So a couple of Olfen just to experience what that's like. And did we ever get any training into Prince? It's the time to make that more of a priority. Prince, training level 3, so it has happened. Okay, when he gets to 5, we can order him around. Tell him where to go. Okay, are we running? There we go. Going to sleep. Um, fence got built. Carter is constructing an animal shed. It's 1 in the morning. Let's just get him to drop off the materials. He walks so slow when he's tired. And then we'll send him to bed. Speed him up a little bit. There, pretend you, you've got a little energy. I know you're... How old are you? Carter is... 70 years old. Wow. Doing pretty good. Okay. Okay. He said, that's all I want. Okay, Carter, I want you to draft, undraft, go to bed. Okay. <laughs> Carter's off to bed. Let's take our tour. We did see the the troop of giant chickens heading over here to go and kill something. Yeah, there's nobody over here to go after. Just kind of natural predators. Yeah. I didn't attack anyone today, which means no one killed them today either. 
more ore over here. One ulf in there. Are there any others? Not just the one. A lot of ore yet. We probably could finish the game without any more ore and alloy. But I'd like to see what it's like to put together an outpost. I think there's enough nearby to have pulled it off. But that's fine. You guys are the cure plant. Okay. Where's more of... I guess they've already... Yeah, buzz, buzz shrooms have already been harvested? I guess so. Does it say when they can be planted? Because there's none in here. Why is that? Fertilize, no. Plant is yes. So maybe they are a spring only. We're into summer now. They've already harvested. I'm not sure. Umiar is going to get off to his next research, which is bench presses. So we get some more relaxation activities out there. And Carter is... Transporting. Ah, he must know where the meat's hidden. He is, and so does that Pankoth. Okay. Um... Simon, let's have you do that instead. You haul red meat. Carter? You are still doing the same job. Let's get you... Well, let's get you working on this. I'll do that. Edmund, where are you right now? You are hauling more of that in. I wish I could have Simon do that. Although you may have gone and butchered the last one. That's probably where you were. Just don't remember where that was. I thought it was near the rocks. But I'm not seeing any meat laying out here. Hmm. Anyway, I don't know if we're going to get up there to work on anything or not. Harvesting tools. Oh, we just made some? Kana. What you up to? You were transporting. You're getting ore or alloy for harvesting tools. Okay, so that is the new... Yeah, night goggles, respirator mask, survival kit, harvesting tools, stimulants, good luck charm, all the new things that we can make. Okay, and all of them require alloy, right? Yeah. So maybe we're going to have to get that ore processed after all. Just wondering if I want to send Rita out to get some more of these blueberries while they're available. Although this is marked. So what is she working on right now? You are harvesting these guys. Okay. These, we are in middle of summer. We're at 70% growth. So we'll definitely get them this season. What was that thump? That is this guy. So you are ready. Let's get a couple of animal beds in there. Ranching, large animal spots. So one, two, get that built. Any reason for another barn? There could be. I don't know if there's a certain grazing area that the animals that size would prefer. And if we can get too many in this space, it's possible we could knock this out to the distance of this one. Like so, and enlarge this. Yeah, that's that's very possible. Edmund is still transporting. Boy, no more hunting for you guys. Where are you after now? There's the meat that you lost that Pankoths are eating. Yeah, it's a lot of running for very little uh, benefit. Unfortunately. But let's, I guess if Rita's already coming out here to do this, let's go ahead and get her to harvest all of this as well. We'll get a bunch of berries brought in. Ours have already been harvested, and I assume they're growing another round. 57%. So, bench press is done. Okay, so a bench press, we probably have nowhere to go unless we put them inside of a bedroom. 
unfortunately. The bench press looks like this guy. Yeah, he's wide. Two by two. We don't have space for something like that. Unless it's in somebody's bedroom. Which means they're going to bug them. Or it means that we put together another bedroom and use one of these bedrooms as an exercise or entertainment space. Or we send them outside. We could do something like that. I never thought of putting a bench press out on a shed, but... Or shelter, but I guess that's possible. Hmm. What it took to build this place episode after episode. I hate to go through that again. Let's grab this little area right here. Storage, no, camp, shelter, and let's do, I don't want to disturb any trees. So if we did this and then turn it around, okay, I don't, it didn't light up any of the trees, so I think that's fine. Get these built and then leisure, put a bench press in here a number of other things and maybe we'll get lucky and they'll all go out and do a bunch of leisure at the same time another dartboard out there uh, leisure dartboard obstructed access really it's too close to that okay so we'll try you there and we're working on what next? These are real quick projects. An arcade machine. All right. In fact, we could take one of these guys and move you out there. And then put another musical instrument in there for a music night. So, what was that? This one? No, that's a, uh, that's an Edmund in, a, in an armor. Okay. I just realized I've been running at speed two the whole time. Maybe we'll go three days this time. Um, of course, I'll say that and we'll get a really big attack and suddenly it's an hour and a half long video. Um, move the armchair. What does move look like? There you are. So if an armchair came in and popped into there, sure. We can move you to there. We can put another didgeridoo in here. You are going to sleep, but you could do this so quick. Why don't you move that before you go to sleep? So I can put another blueprint down. And did you do? Did you do? Hand pan, hand pan. I guess it would be a did you do. What would that be? Leisure? Yeah. So as soon as he finishes, this will go away. Animal flu? Really? Okay. That goes there. Access from there. Alright, so I need a Paulette. Healing Prince. There you go. Got it already. So Prince is under the weather. And it's nighttime, but he's all excited because he's happy. He's he's healed. Still training level three. So Rita, okay, your training level. Where is training? That's in here. Animal training. So he's there. So I need a manage activities. Rita. Let's spend a little more time having you ranch. You already are. It's just that you've got harvest and construct first. Okay. We could let Carter join in on some of that. He's not very good at it, but this will train him up a bit. Rita's got a lot of harvesting to do, and she's so much faster at it than everybody else. So I don't want to disturb that. So right now she's just got a few of these and these guys. And then up on the hill. Okay. Hmm. So, day three of this episode translates to year three, day 16. Four in the morning. Prince is up for good. Yep. And there's our tractor engine shutting down. I think the solar panels have taken over, right? Supplying 20. Batteries are at 71% and 26 to the good. So probably hit full by the end of the day. Okay, so that's there. I could mark these guys to... 
What do we know about them? To, uh, tr not train, to tame. Uh, do we know age or anything like that? No. Observed on day 21. We just know how much meat they've got. We don't know how old they are, if they're going to... They're large. That's it. So, don't know if they're going to... Die of old age soon or not. Let's mark you to tame. I can't. Not enough berries. We need berries in stock. Okay. Rita. You are on your way to do that. You grab some food and add to some bread, meat pie, veggie soup, meat soup. Grab some meat soup. The bread, Umayar and Carter prefer, and that gives them a bonus. Buttermelon pie gives everybody a bonus. Meat pie gives Simon a bonus, and there's one other person. Uh, might even be Rita, right? Yeah, she was meat pie as well. But she doesn't need a bonus. She's up there already. So she just needs to eat anything to get that bar up. And then let's send her out to do this. I lost you. These. So come out here and harvest these guys. And I miss any? Harvest that one. Those. And those. So do all that harvesting today. Once you do your first one, I think I can then mark these guys for uh, um, for taming. See how that works. Carter's punching a pole, which could go out there in the leisure shack, except it fits here really well. Although this is where the arcade could go. Yeah, I kind of like that. Let's... Yeah, that seemed to fit this area better. So let's move you to here. And you're already gone, so you didn't get that order. Arcade machine, okay. So, Umiar, no, oh, you're eating, okay. I need to get somebody to move that punching bag. You're crafting, I'm going to leave you alone. I need to get Rita, oh, how, Rita, how far did you get? You're already up there. Is it worth the walk to find out what a harvesting kit does? I think it is. Let's, how do we measure that? So, Rita is harvesting. Do we have a bar? We do. So, speed one. Let's watch a harvest. One, two. So, two seconds. And then, okay, one more time. One thousand one, one thousand two and a half. Before you start walking. So, two and a half seconds. Let's have you... <laughs> see if we can find it. What would it look like and where would it be? Is that a cabinet? What are you? Your pipe? You. That, that looks like it right there. Can you equip harvesting tools? Come on down and do that. Will you go faster if I draft you? I think you will. Draft and go here. There we go. Sprint in there. Rifle out. Let's equip you with harvesting tools and then send you back. I wonder if I can draft her when she is equipped with that. I don't know. Uh, did this get moved? It did not. So Paulette Carter is moving it. Good. Once that happens, I'll put the arcade machine in. Rita's on her way in. Uh, Carter, after that, you need to actually build these shelters. Yeah, before we rain. So when you're done, construct two shelters. Rita's arriving. Alright. Let's undraft. Nope. Sorry, Carter. Rita. R Rita. Undraft. Okay. Carter. Yep, I messed that up, didn't I? Um, you can... Are you still drafted? You're rethinking life. Okay. 
repair. You've already installed it. Yeah, it's missing. Okay. So you're constructing a shelter. Good. Good, good, good. So Rita is equipping this one. That's not a Rita. There you are. Harvesting tools. Okay, so where does it say that? There you are, harvesting tools. So now that you've done that, I'm assuming that I can draft you to get back. Change area. Ooh, found it. Okay, so let's draft you and go back to here. Otherwise, you're still in decent condition. Good. Survival kit. So remind me what that is. Ten emergency rations and a portable bedroll. Oh, so that's for going out and mining ore. Ah. Okay. Still going to put you under a roof. No, oh, who did I just mess up? I'm still attached to Rita. Rita, go here. All right, leave me alone. So where is Edmonds out here constructing? Okay. Let's cancel these guys. Good. And let's take down your wood of ten. Ten. We're only conifers out here. All right, so we don't have as much wood as... Although you're different. You're the big conifers. Wood of 20. But there's none of them right over here. And you guys are wood of 20. Yep, I guess we'll just do it. what's nearby. Let's take this out. Cut. Cut. And cut. Although these are these are hay and sticks. Oh, okay. And we need stone mine. And we need I need to get a survival kit on him then. That's what I need. Um hay and sticks. Bushes and grasses. That I think we're gonna have to haul in. What are you? Cloth blossom. Okay. Grasses. No. Ferns. I've not really noticed these before. Nope. I'm not going to be able to get bushes or uh, twigs or hay out of this area. Okay. So these will have to be built otherwise. But this will take sticks again. So we don't really need logs. Okay. So cancel those orders. All right. We'll have to haul it in. But I do need Edmund and Carter. Carter's constructing a shelter. Oh, you're constructing that shelter, Carter. Okay, so let's grab and equip you to put in the survival kit. Or grab the survival kit. Then I want you to build this shelter. So Kana looks like she's building another survival kit. Looks like the same box. Okay, so Carter now has a survival kit. He's going to grab to work on these guys, right? Yeah. So you work on those. And Rita, did you make it back? I kind of forgot about you. You're just arriving. Oh, good. Okay. So when you get here, we'll see if you are how much faster than two and a quarter to two and a half seconds you are doing all this work. All right, so undraft there. Let's have you, I guess we'll just do it naturally now. Speed one, thousand one, done. So that's double the speed easily. Okay, that was worth it. You're gonna clear through this whole batch in no time. Okay, so well that's good. So Carter's constructing that when Edmund gets back. I need him to get another one of those survival kits. Which will be here done real soon. Alright, arcade machine. 
leisure. There you are. Just like that. We'll get that one built. You are a CPU core and nanotubes. I don't know how much power you require. Let's wait and find out. So Simon is transporting things that Rita took out and just dropped in the field, I'm guessing, just like these guys. In fact, Simon, when you're done, it'd be nice to get more of those in. So Simon is now bringing some dried meat in. You... You need to rest. You never went to sleep, did you? Hmm. But your happiness is still fine. So let's get you to bring a load of these in first. Harvest, plant, haul. You do that. Carter is now heading all the way up there. What time is it? 1400 hours. I don't think he's going to make the trip. Who else is in there? That's area 2. Can we name that area? Oh, he built the sign. The, uh... The banner, I guess it would be. That's over here. Okay. So now that we have this, can we interact with it? Yes. We can rename it, we can assign people, and we can call people. Order all survivors who are assigned to this area to run back to its flag. Interesting. So do we build an area of defense right here? For instance, if an animal attack hits and it spawns on them instead of down there. Huh. Assign people as Edmund. I didn't assign Edmund. He's kind of assigned himself. Is it such that somebody has to be assigned no matter what? Change area. You're global. So don't be doing that. You're going to mine that anyway, which will allow you to build this. Well, kind of. He needs sticks too, but let's grab that. And don't haul it. You are mining one more. Um, so Carter's bringing some parts for this. Do we let him make the trip? Carter, you need to eat. So Carter's not going to make the trip. He's not going to get there. Though if once he eats, he probably could. He's got a bed roll on him. And actually, he has emergency rations. Okay. Well, in that case, I guess we need to tell Paulette to start making some emergency rations. Where would that be? Chef? No. Tasty? Quick. Quick. All right, emergency rations until we have um we'll say 30 because she's pulling them out of there 10 at a time and can make it out of anything don't know I hate to lose the meat pies because she's going to grab 10 meals at once to make these isn't she I think so I think she grabs a meal and wraps it in fabric Two cooked meals and four fabrics to make an emergency meal. Ooh, those are expensive. Wow. Um. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to get into the veggies because Kana can only eat those. Grain porridge she could use. Veggie soups, no. Meat soups, yes. Meat pie, no. And breads take oil and grains. We have a lot of grains. We don't have as much grain as we used to. And oil is in the fridge. Oils and fats. We could make it out of breads. Not any of the really expensive ones. So I'd say we're right there. Let's keep making those and keep popping out meals. Okay, and move it up to the top. Wish I could just grab it and pull, but I can't, can I? No, nope. got to click 13 times. Um, where does this go exactly? She could be making two meals and an emergency ration over and over again until she bankrupts us. There is that. So, grain porridge... 
Where's meat soup? Meat stew? Don't know. We'll leave it there. See what happens. Current inventory is 11. She can make one more. And that's done. And that might be all that we need. Maybe that we're finished making those once we load up Edmund with it too. But Edmund needs to come back. Yeah, he's he's out of food. He's got to come back. Okay. So Edmund, come on over here and equip this. Whatever you're doing, come on out. Come back, get some food. You're not assigned to that area. Equipping. All right. Carter needs... He's going to make the trip. He's got an emergency meal with him. He's got a... a, a uh, in fact, I can assign you. If I do that, did I just mess up your orders? Nope, you're good. Okay. All right, so you're going to go do that. Edmund's on his way back. Those two are going to be working out there, which means Kana needs to f be working on any construction projects over here now. She's going to be our at-home constructor because Edmund and Carter are our miners. So they need to work on that. Carter, I wish I could assign you to two areas, but I guess it doesn't work that way. Simon is transporting. We told him to do that. A tachyon source. So this will up the skill level of somebody. Okay. Um, if we do this at all, it'll be after the next attack. And I'm not, I'm not sure which skill, unless I, unless physical is a skill that can be boosted. I'm not sure if it is or not. Don't remember that being an option last time. Paulette is... Oh, she made... Did she make the trip to go get... She did. Rita's transporting more of them. Okay. So she's bringing a bunch of berries in. Um, it was here. It was these guys. And we have lots of berries left. So Simon, you need to rest when you're done. So when you get back, Simon... Simon, Simon, Simon. Right there. Edmund. Simon. When you get back... Go to sleep. And then when you're done with that, come up here and haul. Sometime in the night you'll do that. And you'll be fine. And by then you'll be hungry enough to want a meal. So Rita's on her way back with that many, which means these guys can now be assigned. Don't know if we'll see it this episode, but we can tame you. Large male. And... Large female. Tame. You're now on the list. We now have the foods necessary to do the taming. You are at 74%. We'll get there. It'll be the end of autumn, but we'll get there. So do we expand this for their... Hmm. That's a problem. That is a problem. Okay. So let's relocate you guys. M for move. One, two, three, four, five. I guess you could go there. And did I get. I think I've got you to deal with yet. Um, we'll just move you to here. Something like that. Okay. And did I move you? Guess not. So we'll drop you into there. I guess that spacing's the same. So there's eight of you, and there's four and four, eight of you. Okay. So we'll get you out of there. Though I'm still wondering if I want to bump this guy out. Uh, we'll see. We'll get the two in there and see how they how they look. If it looks like too small of a space for them or not. All right, who's out and about? Carter is constructing. Edmund. Edmund, you are still on your way home. You have got to be in really bad shape. Low mood. That's all. Okay, Carter. For some reason I thought Carter used to be over here. Like it reordered something. I thought Carter was our first one. 
next to Paulette and Rita. Interesting. Um, you are still on your way. Okay. So we'll watch that happen. As soon as you arrive, we'll get the, uh, the warning that, uh, we're about to be attacked, right? VR sets. Ooh. <laughs> now that's more up my alley. So, leisure, VR, there you are. So that is a 2x2. Two two. That's a big one. Aha. Uh -huh. Virtual reality. Obstructed access to another device. So, right there. Hmm. That's got to cost a pretty penny. Now it's the same thing. A CPU and some nanotubes. Where do I put something like that? I'd like to see it happen. It doesn't belong outside, though. I don't know. We just might have to put another another room onto this place somewhere. Or expand the porch out? I'm not sure. We could kick the whole front of the building out. Get rid of the... Uh, the bush here. Huh. All for a VR set. <laughs> There's always going to be one last something to do that causes you to have to redesign the whole settlement. Alright, what is left? I don't think there's much more we can do. Umbrellas. Can't do that until we get energy crystals going. Okay. So, Edmund's back for food. He got his supplies. Kana can make one more of those now. Umiar is handling hot air balloon. So he he can get back to making bricks now. He doesn't have any more research to do. Okay, good. This did not get built yet. Actually, that's probably a Kana thing. Boy, that's a lot of male alloy. You are... I don't know. Uh, Kana. Getting that and that for that. What? That's a mask. You need... Is that ore? That's ore. You need ore. Um... I can't get you to pop a line to tell me where you're going. So I don't know where this ore is. I guess I'll just let you. There must be some out here somewhere that we've... It's here, isn't it? No. That is silicon. Not... There it is. You found 20 ore out there somewhere, and you're off to come get it. Where are you at? Yep, most likely it. You're going to be through the night doing it, though. You really are. Simon is sound asleep. He's getting his rest up when he's done. He needs to eat. Okay, Kana, we're going to belay those orders. Draft, undraft. You're drinking now. Yeah, I don't blame you. Simon, let's rework you. Simon, um, I'm going to change your orders to just sleep, but I can't. I have to draft and undraft to break it. Idle. None. Okay. Let you get through this cycle. Boom. You're going to sleep. Then you're going to eat meat pie. Oh, here the tractor start up. And then you're going to come out and get these. Uh, bushes that aren't blue anymore. There we go. And they're being eaten. They probably are. You're going to haul these next. And then you're going to come all the way out over here. If I can find them again. And you're going to haul these next. Okay, that's all stacked. Your rest will be full. Your fullness will be full. You'll do those two big runs, and then you're done. That's tomorrow's plan. 
which will be interrupted when I draft you in a little while to defend us. But until then, we'll give that a try. Umayar is petting Prince. Rita is quarreling with Paulette about hunting techniques, as well as playing the handpan. Edmund is smoking. Paulette is appreciating a shroom torch. Khan is drinking. Simon is sleeping. And Carter is way up here. And shift does not make me go fat. Oh, control does. Okay. You're still arriving. Okay, I think this is how we end the episode. After all of this work. Let's see what you can get done. And did you bring... Carter, you're exhausted. You need food. You're going to be tanking here soon. But there's no way of knowing what you're hauling. Still one of my, my gripes. I want to know what's in his hands. Is he bringing... Sticks? Or is he bringing hay? If he's bringing sticks, then he might have brought enough to also bring for the fire. There's a stone. Well, looky there. Whoa, hello. So, where exactly are you? You're over here. Okay, well, that cancels uh, um, Simon's orders. He's running. Well, he's running up to here. He might be okay. Yeah. Will I remember next time a Simon has been assigned to run through the enemy territory and, and be there to stop him if it goes wrong? Probably not. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, Simon. Draft. Undraft. You're going to stand up. What's your sleep look like? It is one in the morning. You're almost there, but I'll still send you back to bed. Stop. Okay. Go and eat. No, why don't you sleep some more? Sleep it off. Rita's going to sleep. Carter. We're going to let you sleep up there, I think, because you're exhausted. You're not going to make the trip back. Okay, so we need to remember this little triangle means that Carter is not part of us anymore. He's just arriving. And we've got to deal with all the rest of that. We've got, got some big ones. We've got some Junos. Oh, Junos. That other... I don't know where to find it now. I'm sure there's a... A help? Yeah. Anyway, the notice that we got from Rita when she found out that second bug nest thing. Were those scissor hands, like I assumed, or were they Junos? If they were Junos, <laughs> that's a tough one to take down. I don't know now. So, they're going to be a good test to our defenses. They are. Carter brought sticks. Or is that hay? That could be hay. Dropping it off. Dropping it off and off. You're done. Eating. Good. Carter. You're going to eat one meal, which is probably not enough to finish you. Then you're going to rest, but I could send you back home. I think I will. Let's get your eating done. It will take you the five hours. So let's say it was one in the morning. That's 7 a.m. for the bug attack. Remember that. I won't. <laughs> Okay, you are now going to put together a bedroll, going to sleep. Okay. Do I leave you there? We can definitely take this all on without you. Maybe we'll leave you there. You're going to sleep. You've got no relaxation. And there's no relaxation to build that doesn't require... You need leather, you need alloy, you need alloy, you need alloy, you need shrooms. We can put you together with just stone. Alright. A statue of a reminder of Prince. Alright, that can be your entertainment over here. Alright, so you can build that. 
You need to mine one more thing. And... You were going to start mining. Uh, Edmund was going to start mining. But here's one more thing to mine to get that built. Don't know why we need it. It just seems right. Okay. So you stay. We'll find out what really happens. Come on. Quit. What really happens when a bug attacks... Uh, hits the main area, what happens to the outposts. Okay. Well, in that case, that's where we start next time. 7 a.m., that should hit. Everybody else is asleep, and we'll make it happen. So thanks for watching, folks, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.